Is this on? Okay. Yeah, Coach, the three-point shooting, you've always kind of instilled the confidence, even early in the season when they weren't making them, just for that to kind of materialize the last few games. How gratifying is it to see you know, some of those shots going down? I was just happy to see some shots go in, period. You know, I thought we struggled, really, early in the game and um, just couldn't make shots, man. But our defense was just tight. You know, I, even when we were struggling, we they were, I think, sitting at 19 when we were at 11. So they weren't going anywhere. We, You know, they wasn't running off. Uh, but, boy, I was struggling to find offense tonight. And But we made the plays down the stretch that we needed to make in terms of securing the game. They made that nice run and, and got back even with you, but then you guys closed it out from there. And uh, you know, coming off what happened at Wisconsin and such, I'm sure it had to be gratifying that uh, uh, that uh, didn't wasn't a factor at all today. Well, that's the first thing I said when I closed out our meeting with the team prior to coming in here, that, hey, you stepped up and did what you had to do coming down the stretch. And... Um, you know, you're not going to blow every team out. There's going to be games that are going to be close. Um, Notre Dame's a good team. They're well coached. So, you know, I didn't I didn't expect, you know, to blow up the 8 to 10 point lead like we had, but we did, and our guys stepped up and made the plays that we needed to make to win the game. Coach, you look more consistent on both sides of the ball coming out of half. What were the conversations like in the locker room with your guys? Well, again, I mean, going in, I thought the momentum shifted our way the last, what, four or five minutes of the first half when we went on that run to get back in it and then come in up three at half. You know, I was feeling pretty good at that that moment. Uh, but knowing that 20 minutes is still a lot of time. Um, and I just told him, hey, we need to just put a solid 20-minute, you know, half together and come out of here with a win. Yeah, Mike, big picture – being this close to the Big Ten season, uh, resuming, where do you think your team is? Where, where do you think you're, you're doing well, and where do you think you need to work? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't – listen, I'm just happy where we are. We try to take it a game at a time. Um, we've had two Big Ten games, and I thought we played extremely well in both. Um, came up short in the one. Um, our next opponent is – Northern Kentucky, I, so we just got to get ready for those guys. I, hey, the Big Ten is what it is, man. We can't run from it. And when time comes to, to play a Big Ten game, I'm just going to prepare like I'd normally prepare for any game and uh, just take it one game at a time. Circling back to three-point shooting, um, from Parker's perspective, if he's not at 50%, he's near 50% from behind the arc. I know it's, it can't just come down to one guy growing that area of your offense, but just how valuable has he been as somebody who's got the confidence to knock down at that volume for you early in the season? No, he's been very important for us. Um, again, early on when we first started this journey, I didn't know where the three-point shooting was going to come. And, you know, Parker and Miller both have stepped up and made some threes for us. But, you know, I need X to, to make them. Rob is capable of making them. Uh, Christian, when if he when if and when I play him, I mean I feel good that he can make them. Um, I mean we got guys that can make them, but I don't want to be a team to just live on three point shots. I mean if you if you got it, you know hey, take it. You know I mean if it's there, but you know I think our strength is playing inside out with our our big guys, and that's been good for us. And you know I don't really want to stray away from that. Yeah, Coach, uh, Rob Finnessy's impact tonight gets you two threes, team high five assists. It seemed like his defense on Wesley, who went five for 16, was impactful. Just curious your thoughts on, on – did Rob kind of give you a lift and were your thoughts on Rob's Man, play? Man, he gave us a huge lift. I mean, I need Rob in the, in the worst way. I think he knows how I feel about him in terms of, you know, what I think he can do. I just got to get Rob to believe more that he can do things like he, he did tonight. Um you know, I mean, he's a hell of a defender, and, you know, he can make shots. He can make plays for other people. I mean, that's what point guards do. I just got to get him more comfortable and give him more love and confidence that he can do those things. 
Hi, yeah, about, about your point guard position, not just Rob, but also X. Um, just how do you feel about where it is, where it's come, has it come, has it come anywhere? Still, it, well, we've improved, but we still got work in progress with our point guards, and it's okay. You know, hey, it's like I said, it's the toughest position on the floor, um, and I'm demanding, and I'm going to keep pushing these guys to get better. Because I know if they do, we're going to be better as a ball club. We'll benefit from it. And they all still trying to learn, you know, what we're trying to do. They're, they're searching, man. And I just got to – I got to help them more somehow. Uh, Mike, you mentioned just defense before. I think they made a th maybe 11 of their first 22, something like that. What, what did you see get better, I guess, really in the last eight minutes uh, of the first half in particular and then throughout the second half, especially defending the three and defending the perimeter? Well, you know, two – they hit a three. There were two threes that were made by their team early on that we didn't execute our defense. And in one of the timeouts, you know, I was very critical because, again, we've gone, we've had two days to prepare, and you can't walk out on the floor and just forget your coverages. And it cost us an out of bounds three, and it cost us a, a three where Xavier didn't switch correctly. So those are things that you can clean up. Um, you take those two threes away early, you know, we're sitting at a very close ball game. Neither team scoring the ball. So uh, in that regard, I was pretty happy where we were defensively. And then I thought the second half, our defense was even more steadier in terms of how we wanted to, you know, cover our, our coverages. Hey, we'll go Mike and Jim, and then we'll go check on the players. Yeah. Coach, sticking back to the point guard theme, it seemed like I could be wrong, but you had X and Rob on the floor a lot together in this game. What what did you like about that combination? Well, they were small. You know, I mean, besides the, the big – Wesley, you know, they were small too. So, I mean, you can play two point guards in that regard. And, you know, both of them are pretty good defenders. They defend when they want to defend. And, and Rob is a hell of a defender. So, I mean, I was looking for defense and two guys that – to kind of run our team. I mean, that's what I was looking for, and I thought they did a pretty good job in, in both areas, I thought. Coach, the first half, uh, you talked about your defense kind of setting things up. You, you had seven assists and nine turnovers, but in the second half that kind of reversed itself. Nine assists, five turnovers. Was that better defensive play, or what led to that? Well, again, I, I thought offensively we moved the ball in spurts, and when we did, Good things happen for us, uh, and I got to get them to understand that. You know, it, it can't be one or two passes, and then the shot goes up and lets us a layup. Um, so in that regard, I got to help them offensively. But defensively, we didn't have a whole lot of miscues. You know, we gave up a couple of layups at the end of the game that I don't like. You know, I mean, you still got to play the clock. Uh, and the score as well, you know, where you give up quick twos, now they can set their defense and – Get ready to press. I, you know, you got to make them at least make two or three, four passes before, you know, giving up a, a easy bucket like we did. I mean, hell, they just drove around us and laid the ball up. So we got to clean that up. But for the most part, I was pleased.